So I have this old Barbie car. It's all taken apart. Um, this is from my childhood. And looking at the bottom of this piece, sorry. It's from 1998, I believe. Yeah, that's what that says. Like, so it's, it's a fairly old Barbie car. Um, taking it apart, I've cleaned all the pieces and everything. There was some d gross grime in, down in the seats and stuff. Got that all out. Um, this broke, or this one broke a couple weeks ago, and so I had to super glue it back on. Um, anyway, I've decided I wanted to customize it and, like, you know, add details, make it look realistic and cool. I've had this car for years and years and years. Um, anyway, my boyfriend thinks I should keep it pink because it's, like, original pink Barbie and stuff. But I kind of want to change the color, and I'm I'm having a hard time deciding. I don't even know what color I would paint it. Because this is an old car and I've had it for forever, um, there are a lot of deep, deep scratches. I don't know, oh, you can't even see that on camera. Um, I've been working on sanding this one to get it ready for paint, this piece. Um, and also, I really just like don't like factory seams and stuff, um, and like scuff marks from play, because I've had this since I was a kid. And there's some deep scratches that I can see, and they're like not coming out. I mean, they're, they're definitely much lighter. Like you can't see it on camera, which I bet you could have when I first started. You know, now that I'm looking at it closer, it does look much better than it did before, but yep. I'm going to paint this piece black. Still haven't decided on if I'm painting the car a different color or keeping it pink, but I know I'm going to paint this piece black. And then obviously the mirrors like silver because they're mirrors. So yeah. I forgot that I was going to film this process, but um, I did flat white primer on the car, let that dry, it's on both sides. Um, and then I did black spray paint, letting that dry right now, and then once that's all completely dry, we'll flip it over and spray the bottom with black spray paint. And yeah, we'll go from there. I also covered the wheel wells, those things. Um, the hubcaps covered those with tape so that they stay white although I'm probably gonna be painting them silver later um yeah cool cool all right so they've been drying for a little bit I'm just gonna touch that and make sure yeah it looks and feels fairly dry so we're gonna flip it over all the pieces over. A lot of them are kind of stuck to the paper that I have them on. And yes, I'm feeling lazy, so I'm not going to go grab my tripod. Sorry. We're just going to have weird angles for this video. Let me get this open. Now it's all coated, I'm gonna let that dry. Um, I might do some more layers. Yeah, I'll definitely do some more layers, but we're gonna let this layer dry first. Alrighty, so I kinda messed up in a few places, um, but I'll just, I don't know, it's fine. But we're gonna peel off all this tape now on the tires. If I can get it off. And 
and then we'll start adding details. Ready. So I got some paint touched up, um, I tried to paint the wheel wells silver, um, the paint doesn't really like layering, like it took a lot of layers to get it to what it's at right now, um, but I do really like how the grill, the front part looks, looks quite nice, um, and the mirrors turned out nice with the silver paint. Um, so now I'm gonna put it back together and yeah. Yay! Cars all put back together. Um, I am going to add more headlight details and taillight details. I'm going to add license plates and I think I'm going to add something for the center console right there. But I absolutely love this car in black even with my weird bubbles and scratches and stuff that I <laughs> did because I'm an impatient person. Um, I think it looks really good. So, yeah. Alrighty, so I've added some more details. Still working on it. I'm a little scared to work on the headlights, honestly. But I added license plates on the front and back. I'll show you the back in a second. And then I painted the grill part silver and put B. Or, I painted the B pink because it's Barbie. Gotta keep some classic Barbie things for this car. on the back and I also painted the B on the steering wheel pink so yes but I still have the tail lights and the headlights to paint and I'm a little bit nervous about those because it's like I don't know just the 
last thing to do. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Um, my boyfriend was saying that I should do like a clear coat over the headlights so it looks like shiny and more like, like it has depth. But I don't have any of that. Other than the spray paint, which I don't think would work well. Um, I mean, I might try it. I don't know. But it looks awesome. I'm super happy with how this looks. I did the taillights red because most of the time taillights are, are red. And it just, this Barbie car looks awesome. Super professional. And yeah, I'm super happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, you're never too old for dolls. Bye, guys.